Welcome to our exploration of five major world religions, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Judaism, and Buddhism. Each of these faiths offers unique insights into life's big questions and has profoundly shaped human history and culture. Join us as we compare their core beliefs, practices, and traditions, discovering what connects and distinguishes them. Origin Christianity originated in the Levant region of the Eastern Mediterranean in the first century AD. It emerged from the teachings and ministry of Jesus Christ, whom Christians believed to be the Son of God and the promised Messiah. Jesus' teachings, miracles, death, and resurrection formed the foundation of Christian faith. Following his resurrection, Jesus' disciples spread his message, leading to the growth and development of Christianity as a distinct religious movement. The New Testament documents these events, providing insight into the early Christian community and its beliefs. Islam was founded in the 7th century AD in the Arabian Peninsula by the Prophet Muhammad. He received revelations from God through the angel Gabriel, which were later compiled into the Quran, the Holy Book of Islam. Muhammad's teachings emphasized monotheism, social justice, and moral conduct. His followers, initially a small community in Mecca, faced persecution but eventually gained strength and spread Islam throughout the Arabian Peninsula. After Muhammad's death, his successors, known as caliphs, continued to expand Islamic rule, leading to the establishment of a vast empire across Asia, Africa, and Europe. The teachings of Islam are embodied in the Quran and the Hadith, sayings and actions of Muhammad, shaping the beliefs and practices of Muslims worldwide. The origins of Hinduism are rooted in the ancient cultural and religious practices of the Indian subcontinent, dating back over several millennia. Hinduism is considered one of the oldest religions in the world, and its beginnings are intertwined with the development of ancient civilizations in the region. Key factors include the influence of indigenous religious traditions, the development of Vedic civilization and Brahmanism, the emergence of Upanishadic philosophy, the significance of epics and Puranic texts, and the continual process of development and syncretism. These factors have shaped Hinduism into one of the oldest and most diverse religions in the world, characterized by a rich tapestry of beliefs, rituals, and traditions. Judaism traces its origins to ancient Mesopotamia and the region of Canaan around 4,000 years ago. Key factors in its formation include God's covenant with Abraham, the revelation of the Torah to Moses at Mount Sinai, and the construction of the first temple in Jerusalem. Experiences such as the Babylonian exile and the destruction of the Second Temple by the Romans also played significant roles. After the destruction of the Second Temple, Judaism evolved into Rabbinic Judaism, characterized by the authority of rabbis and the development of the Talmud. These foundational elements continue to shape Jewish identity, belief, and practice today. Buddhism originated in ancient India around the 6th century BCE with the enlightenment of Siddhartha Gautama, who became known as the Buddha. Key factors include his teachings on the Four Noble Truths, the spread of Buddhism throughout India and beyond, the development of various Buddhist schools, and the compilation of Buddhist scriptures. Buddhism emphasizes understanding and alleviating suffering and has become a major world religion practiced by millions worldwide. Number of Followers Christianity is the largest religion in the world in terms of number of followers. It is estimated to have approximately 2.3 billion adherents worldwide, making up about 31% of the global population. The United States has the largest Christian population in terms of absolute numbers. It is estimated to have over 230 million Christians, representing various denominations and traditions. Other countries with significant Christian populations include Brazil, Mexico, Nigeria, the Philippines, and Russia. Islam is the second largest religion in the world in terms of number of followers. It is estimated to have approximately 1.9 to 2.3 billion adherents worldwide, making up about 24% to 30% of the global population. Indonesia has the largest Muslim population in terms of absolute numbers. It is estimated to have over 200 million Muslims, making it the country with the most followers of Islam. Other countries with significant Muslim populations include Pakistan, 
India, Bangladesh, Nigeria, and Egypt. Hinduism is one of the largest religions in the world. It is estimated to have approximately 1.2 to 1.3 billion followers worldwide, making up about 15% to 16% of the global population. India has the largest Hindu population in terms of absolute numbers. It is estimated to have over 1 billion Hindus, making it the country with the most followers of Hinduism. Other countries with significant Hindu populations include Nepal, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Judaism is one of the smaller religious groups globally in terms of the number of adherents. As of the most recent available data, it is estimated to have approximately 14 to 15 million followers worldwide, making up less than 0.2% of the global population. Israel has the largest Jewish population in terms of absolute numbers. It is estimated to have over 6 million Jews, making it the country with the most followers of Judaism. Outside of Israel, the United States has the largest Jewish population, with significant communities also found in France, Canada, the United Kingdom, and Russia. Buddhism is one of the major world religions with a significant number of followers. It is estimated to have approximately 520 to 560 million adherents worldwide, making up about 7% to 8% of the global population. As of the most recent available data, the country with the most followers of Buddhism is China. It is estimated to have over 245 million Buddhists, making it the country with the largest Buddhist population in terms of absolute numbers. Other countries with significant Buddhist populations include Thailand, Japan, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and Vietnam. Important Figures In Christianity, important figures have profoundly influenced the faith's development and teachings. Jesus Christ, revered as the Son of God and Messiah, holds central importance, with his life, teachings, death, and resurrection forming the foundation of Christian belief. Mary, the Apostles, and figures like Paul of Tarsus played crucial roles in spreading Christianity and establishing its early communities. Later figures such as Constantine the Great, Augustine of Hippo, Martin Luther, and John Calvin have left lasting legacies through their theological contributions and historical impact on the faith. Together, these figures have shaped Christianity's beliefs, practices, and history. In Islam, several important figures have significantly influenced the faith's development and teachings. Prophet Muhammad stands as the central figure, revered as the Messenger of Allah who received and conveyed the Quranic revelation. Close companions such as Abu Bakr, Aisha, Ali, and notable figures like Fatima, Umar, and Uthman played vital roles in spreading Islam, governing the Muslim community, and preserving its teachings. Together, these figures have left a lasting legacy, shaping Islamic beliefs, practices, and history. Hinduism encompasses a diverse array of important figures, including deities, sages, and historical personalities. The Trimurti, Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu, and Lord Shiva, represent creation, preservation, and destruction respectively. Goddesses like Lakshmi, Saraswati, and Parvati are also central to Hindu worship. Figures like Lord Rama and Lord Krishna, revered as avatars of Lord Vishnu, embody ideals of righteousness and devotion. These figures, among others, play vital roles in Hinduism's beliefs, practices, and philosophical traditions. In Judaism, several important figures have shaped the faith and its teachings. Abraham is revered as the patriarch of the Jewish people, while Moses is central for leading the Israelites out of Egypt and receiving the Torah. King David and King Solomon are celebrated for their leadership and wisdom, respectively. Prophets such as Isaiah and Jeremiah conveyed God's messages to the people, while rabbis interpreted Jewish law and tradition. The matriarchs, including Sarah and Rebekah, are foundational figures, and Talmudic sages like Hillel and Rabbi Akiva contributed to Jewish law and theology. These figures have had a profound impact on Judaism's beliefs, practices, and historical identity. In Buddhism, several important figures have shaped the tradition's beliefs and practices. Siddhartha Gautama, known as the Buddha, is revered as the enlightened teacher who founded Buddhism. 
Throughout history, Dharma teachers such as Nagarjuna and Thich Nhat Hanh have expounded Buddhist philosophy and meditation practices. The Dalai Lama serves as a prominent spiritual leader of Tibetan Buddhism. Figures like Mahapajapati Gaudami and Ananda played crucial roles in the early dissemination of Buddhism and the establishment of monastic communities. These figures collectively have shaped Buddhism's beliefs, practices, and historical legacy. Fundamental Teachings The fundamental teachings of Christianity revolve around belief in one God, salvation through Jesus Christ, the Trinity, the authority of the Bible, faith and grace, love and compassion, and the importance of the church community. These teachings emphasize the centrality of Jesus Christ as Savior, the importance of faith and love, and the role of the church in spreading the gospel and nurturing believers. The fundamental teachings of Islam include belief in one God, Allah, prophethood, revelation through the Quran, the five pillars of Islam, declaration of faith, prayer, charity, fasting, pilgrimage, belief in the hereafter, ethical guidelines, and promoting brotherhood and unity among believers. These teachings provide guidance for Muslims in their faith, worship, and interactions with others, shaping their way of life and spiritual journey. Hinduism encompasses diverse teachings, but some core principles include dharma, duty, karma, law of cause and effect, samsara, cycle of rebirth, moksha, liberation, brahman, ultimate reality, reverence for scriptures, belief in multiple deities as manifestations of Brahman, and emphasis on spiritual practices like yoga and meditation. These teachings guide Hindus in leading ethical lives, seeking spiritual growth, and ultimately achieving liberation from the cycle of birth and death. The fundamental teachings of Judaism include belief in one God, adherence to the covenant between God and the Jewish people, reverence for the Torah as the central religious text, emphasis on ethical conduct and social justice, observance of Sabbath and festivals, connection to the land of Israel, and the concept of Tikkun Olam, repairing the world. These teachings guide Jewish belief, practice, and communal life, shaping Jewish identity and values. The fundamental teachings of Buddhism, as articulated by the Buddha, include the Four Noble Truths, the Noble Eightfold Path, the Three Marks of Existence, Impermanence, Suffering, Non-Self, dependent origination, karma, rebirth, and the goal of attaining nirvana. These teachings provide a framework for understanding the nature of existence, the causes of suffering, and the path to liberation from suffering. Denominations Christianity encompasses a wide variety of denominations, each with its own unique beliefs and practices. Major denominations include Catholicism, Protestantism, and Orthodoxy, with numerous subdivisions within each. These denominations differ in their theological emphases, worship styles, and ecclesiastical structures. Despite these differences, they share core beliefs in the triune God, the divinity of Jesus Christ, and the authority of the Bible. Islam does not have distinct denominations like Christianity, but it has diverse branches and movements with theological and cultural differences. The main branches include Sunni, Shia, and Ibadi Islam, each with its own legal schools and traditions. Additionally, there are movements like Sufism, Salafism slash Wahhabism, Ahmadiyya Islam, and the Nation of Islam, each with unique interpretations and practices. Despite these differences, Muslims worldwide share core beliefs in the oneness of God, the prophethood of Muhammad, the Quran as scripture, and the five pillars of Islam. Hinduism is characterized by its diversity, with various branches and movements rather than distinct denominations. Major traditions include Vaishnavism, Shaivism, Shaktism, Smartism, Advaita Vedanta, Dvaita Vedanta, and movements like the Hare Krishna movement and Arya Samaj. Each tradition has its own beliefs, practices, and philosophical outlook, contributing to the rich tapestry of Hinduism. Despite differences, Hindus generally share beliefs in karma, dharma, reincarnation, and the ultimate goal of moksha, liberation. Judaism does not have denominations in the same sense as Christianity, but it encompasses various branches and movements with distinct beliefs and practices. Major branches include Orthodox, Conservative, Reform, and Reconstructionist Judaism, each with its own approach to Jewish law, tradition, and modernity. 
These diverse expressions of Judaism reflect different interpretations of Jewish tradition and values, while maintaining a shared commitment to Jewish identity and heritage. Buddhism comprises diverse branches and traditions, each with unique teachings and practices. Major branches include Theravada, Mahayana, Vajrayana, Zen, Pure Land, and Nichiren Buddhism. These traditions differ in their emphasis on doctrine, rituals, and meditation techniques, reflecting the varied cultural and historical contexts in which Buddhism developed. Despite differences, all Buddhist traditions share core teachings on the Four Noble Truths, the Noble Eightfold Path, and the goal of attaining enlightenment. Theism Christianity is considered a monotheistic religion. It firmly asserts the belief in one God, who is the creator and ruler of the universe. This monotheistic belief is central to Christian theology and is articulated in various biblical passages, including the Shema in the Old Testament and the New Testament teachings of Jesus Christ and the Apostles. While Christianity also embraces the concept of the Holy Trinity, which describes God as existing in three persons, Father, Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, this does not compromise its monotheistic stance. Instead, Christians understand the Trinity as a divine mystery, wherein the three persons of the Trinity share the same divine essence or substance, constituting a single Godhead. Islam is unequivocally a monotheistic religion. Central to Islamic theology is the belief in the oneness of God, known as Tawhid in Arabic. This belief is encapsulated in the Islamic Declaration of Faith, the Shahida, which states, There is no God but Allah, Muhammad is his messenger. In Islam, Allah is understood as the one and only God, the creator and sustainer of the universe, who possesses attributes such as omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence. Islamic monotheism rejects the worship of any other deity or entity alongside Allah, emphasizing his absolute uniqueness and sovereignty. The characterization of Hinduism as strictly polytheistic can be somewhat simplistic. While Hinduism is often associated with polytheism due to its rich pantheon of deities, it is more accurately described as henotheistic, monistic, or even inclusive of both monotheistic and polytheistic elements, depending on the interpretation. Henotheism is the belief in and worship of one primary deity while recognizing the existence of other deities. Many Hindus may focus their devotion on a particular deity, such as Vishnu, Shiva, or Devi, the Divine Feminine, while acknowledging the existence of other gods and goddesses within the Hindu pantheon. Judaism is fundamentally a monotheistic religion. Central to Jewish theology is the belief in one God, often referred to as Yahweh or Adonai. This belief is expressed in the central Jewish prayer known as the Shema, found in the Torah, which declares, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. In Judaism, God is understood as the creator and ruler of the universe, possessing attributes such as omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence. The worship of any other deity or entity is strictly prohibited, emphasizing the absolute uniqueness and sovereignty of God. Buddhism is generally considered non-theistic rather than monotheistic. While Buddhism does not revolve around the worship of a single, omnipotent deity, it also doesn't explicitly deny the existence of gods. Instead, Buddhism focuses on the individual's path to enlightenment, emphasizing concepts such as karma, rebirth, and the attainment of nirvana, a state of ultimate liberation from suffering. In some Buddhist traditions, there are celestial beings or deities known as devas, who are believed to inhabit higher realms of existence. However, these beings are not considered omnipotent creators of the universe, nor are they objects of worship in the same way that gods are in monotheistic religions. Additionally, Buddhism places a strong emphasis on personal practice and self-reliance rather than dependence on a divine being for salvation or guidance. The historical Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama, is revered as a teacher and a guide, but he is not worshipped as a god in the same way that deities are worshipped in monotheistic religions. Holy Books The Bible is the sacred scripture of Christianity, comprising two main sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament contains texts written before Jesus' birth, including the Pentateuch, 
historical narratives, wisdom literature, and prophetic writings. The New Testament features writings composed after Jesus' life, such as the Gospels, Acts of the Apostles, Epistles, and Revelation. Christians view the Bible as divinely inspired, serving as a guide for faith, morality, and theology. It has been translated into numerous languages and has profoundly influenced art, literature, and culture worldwide. The Quran is the central religious text of Islam, believed to be the word of God as revealed to the Prophet Muhammad over a period of 23 years. It consists of 114 chapters, or surahs, written in classical Arabic and covering a wide range of topics. Muslims consider it the ultimate source of guidance and authority, reciting and memorizing it in Arabic and striving to follow its teachings in their daily lives. The Vedas are ancient religious texts of Hinduism, considered divine revelations received by ancient sages. There are four Vedas, Rigveda, Samaveda, Yajurveda, and Atharvaveda. They contain hymns, rituals, chants, and philosophical insights. The Vedas form the foundation of Hinduism, influencing its rituals, philosophies, and spiritual practices. They are revered as sacred knowledge and continue to be studied and recited by Hindus worldwide. The Torah is the central religious text of Judaism, consisting of the first five books of the Hebrew Bible. It is believed to be the divine revelation of God to Moses and contains narratives, laws, and ethical teachings. The Torah outlines the early history of humanity, the formation of the Israelite nation, and the covenant between God and the Israelites. It serves as the foundation of Jewish faith, guiding beliefs, rituals, and ethical conduct. The Tripitaka, or Pali Canon, is the primary scripture of Theravada Buddhism, comprising teachings attributed to Gautama Buddha and his disciples. It is organized into three baskets, the Vinaya Pitaka, monastic rules, the Sutta Pitaka, Buddha's discourses, and the Abhidhamma Pitaka, philosophical teachings. The Tripitaka is revered as the most authentic source of Buddhist teachings and serves as a guide for monastic life, meditation, and philosophical inquiry. Place of Worship A place of worship in Christianity is typically called a church, where congregants gather for worship, prayer, fellowship, and community activities. Churches vary in size and architectural style but commonly include a sanctuary or worship space, an altar or communion table, a pulpit or lectern for preaching, and sacred symbols like crosses and stained glass windows. Additionally, churches may have spaces for sacramental objects, designated areas for private prayer or confession, and facilities for community gatherings and outreach programs. Overall, Churches serve as spiritual and communal centers for Christians to deepen their faith and engage in worship and service. A mosque, also known as a masjid, serves as the primary place of worship and community gathering for Muslims. It features a prayer hall where congregants gather for the five daily prayers, often marked by a mirab indicating the direction of Mecca, and a minbar from which the imam delivers sermons. Minarets and domes may adorn the mosque's exterior, with minarets used for the call to prayer. Mosques also typically offer educational facilities, ablution areas, and community spaces for social activities and events. Overall, mosques play a central role in Muslim communities, providing spaces for worship, education, and communal gatherings. Hindu places of worship, known as temples or manders, are sacred spaces where devotees gather for worship, prayer, and religious rituals. These temples typically feature a central sanctum housing the main deity, surrounded by towering spires, assembly halls, entrance towers, and enclosed courtyards. Devotees offer prayers, make offerings, and participate in religious ceremonies to connect with the divine. Hindu temples serve as focal points for spiritual devotion, community gatherings, and cultural events, providing opportunities for devotees to deepen their faith and engage in religious practices. A synagogue, also known as a shul or temple, serves as a place of worship, study, and community gathering for Jews. Key features of a synagogue include the Ark, Aaron Kodesh, housing the Torah scrolls, a raised platform called the Bima for reading the Torah and delivering sermons, and an eternal light, Natamit, symbolizing God's eternal presence. 
Synagogues also provide prayer books, sidurim, seating areas for congregants, and ritual objects for worship. Additionally, many synagogues offer social halls, educational facilities, and memorial walls, creating a space for Jews to come together for prayer, learning, and communal events. Buddhist places of worship, such as temples and monasteries, serve as centers for spiritual practice, meditation, and community gatherings. They typically feature main shrine halls with Buddha images or statues, altars for offerings, and meditation halls for contemplative practice. Monastic quarters provide living space for resident monks and nuns, while libraries and study rooms offer resources for Buddhist study and scripture. These places also often display Buddhist art and symbols and may include pagodas, prayer wheels, and bell towers. Overall, Buddhist places of worship serve as sanctuaries for devotion, learning, and communal connection. Place of Pilgrimage Christianity has numerous pilgrimage sites worldwide, each holding special significance for believers. Jerusalem, Rome, Lourdes, Fatima, Santiago de Compostela, Assisi, and Canterbury are among the most prominent destinations. Pilgrims visit these sites seeking spiritual enrichment, healing, and blessings through rituals, prayers, and devotional practices. These pilgrimage experiences deepen believers' faith and connect them with the history and traditions of Christianity. Islam has several significant pilgrimage sites, with Mecca being the holiest city and the focal point of the Hajj pilgrimage. The Kaaba in Mecca's Masjid al-Haram is central to Islamic worship, drawing millions of pilgrims annually. Medina, Mount Arafat, Mina, Mount Uhud, and Al-Masjid in Nabawi are also important pilgrimage destinations. These sites hold deep spiritual and historical significance for Muslims worldwide, providing opportunities for worship, reflection, and connection with Islamic tradition. Hinduism has several revered pilgrimage sites, known as Tirthas, which hold significant religious and spiritual importance for believers. These include Varanasi, Prayagraj, Ayodhya, Mathura, Vrindavan, Haridvar, Rishikesh, Tirupati, Puri, and the Amarnath Cave, among others. Pilgrims visit these destinations to seek spiritual purification, blessings, and connection with Hindu deities and traditions. The pilgrimage experience often involves rituals, prayers, and immersion in sacred waters, fostering devotion and spiritual growth. In Judaism, pilgrimage centers primarily around Jerusalem, particularly the Western Wall and the Temple Mount, which hold great religious significance as remnants of the Second Temple. The Western Wall is a focal point for prayer and placing written prayers in its crevices. Other important sites include the Temple Mount, the Western Wall Tunnels, saved for its mystical teachings, the Tomb of the Patriarchs in Hebron, and the Tomb of Rachel in Bethlehem. These sites are visited by pilgrims seeking spiritual connection and historical reverence within Judaism. Buddhism boasts numerous pilgrimage sites worldwide, each holding profound religious significance for practitioners. These include Lumbini in Nepal, where Siddhartha Gautama was born, Bodh Gaya in India, where he attained enlightenment, Sarnath, where he delivered his first sermon, Kashinagar, where he attained Parinirvana, Sravasti, where he performed miracles, Kandy in Sri Lanka, housing the sacred tooth relic, Mount Koya in Japan, headquarters of Shingon Buddhism, and Borobudur in Indonesia, a monumental Mahayana Buddhist temple. Pilgrims visit these sites seeking spiritual connection, enlightenment, and reverence for the Buddhist teachings. Heaven in Christianity, heaven is the eternal dwelling place of believers after death, characterized by joy, peace, and communion with God. It represents the fulfillment of God's promises and the ultimate reward for faithful followers. Believers anticipate eternal life in heaven, where they will experience perfection, reunite with loved ones, and enjoy intimate fellowship with God. The concept of heaven provides hope and comfort to Christians, serving as a motivating factor in their faith journey. In Islam, heaven, known as Jannah, is the ultimate reward for believers who have lived righteous lives according to Islamic teachings. It is described as a place of eternal bliss, happiness, and fulfillment, where believers enjoy the pleasures of paradise and are reunited with loved ones. 
Jana offers physical and spiritual delights, including luxurious gardens, palaces, and the presence of Allah himself. Belief in Jannah serves as a source of hope and motivation for Muslims, encouraging them to lead virtuous lives and strive for spiritual excellence. In Hinduism, heaven, referred to as Svarga or Swarga, represents a celestial realm where the Devas reside and souls experience divine bliss and happiness. It is attained through righteous actions and adherence to Dharma, offering pleasures and rewards for virtuous deeds. While desirable, Svarga is considered a temporary abode before reincarnation on earth. Ultimately, Hinduism emphasizes that heaven is not the final goal, but rather a step in the spiritual journey towards liberation, moksha, from the cycle of birth and death. In Judaism, heaven, often referred to as Olam Haba, or the world to come, is a concept of the afterlife where the righteous are rewarded for their deeds and enjoy closeness with God. It is depicted as a realm of eternal joy, peace, and spiritual fulfillment, where believers experience the presence of God and the company of loved ones. While descriptions vary, heaven is seen as the ultimate reward for righteous living and obedience to God's commandments, providing hope and assurance of divine justice in the Jewish faith. In Buddhism, heaven is represented by the Deva realms, where beings experience greater happiness and pleasure compared to the human realm due to positive karma. However, these realms are impermanent, subject to change, and part of the cycle of rebirth. Buddhists aim for enlightenment and liberation from all realms of existence, including the heavenly realms, viewing them as temporary states. Thus, while heavenly rebirth offers temporary happiness, the ultimate goal is to transcend all conditioned existence and attain liberation from suffering. Creatures of Heaven In Christianity, Creatures of heaven are primarily represented by angels, celestial beings created by God to serve various roles such as messengers, guardians, and worshippers. Angels are believed to reside in heaven and are depicted as spiritual entities with different orders and ranks, fulfilling God's will and praising Him continually. They are revered as symbols of God's power, presence, and providence in both the heavenly realm and on earth playing significant roles in Christian theology and eschatology. In Islam, creatures of heaven primarily include angels, beings of light created by Allah to serve him and carry out his commands. Angels are described as pure entities without physical bodies, who possess intellect and free will but always obey Allah's will without question. They have various roles and duties, such as delivering messages to prophets, recording human deeds, and worshipping Allah continuously in heaven. Belief in angels is a fundamental aspect of Islamic faith, and they play a central role in Islamic theology and eschatology, serving as messengers and executors of Allah's divine will. In Hinduism, creatures of heaven primarily consist of devas, celestial beings who inhabit heavenly realms and play significant roles in maintaining the cosmic order. Devas are considered divine entities with supernatural powers, governing various aspects of nature and receiving worship from humans. They are part of a hierarchical structure, with different gods presiding over different heavenly domains. While Devas enjoy celestial pleasures and blessings in heaven, their existence is impermanent, subject to the cycle of karma and rebirth. Overall, Devas are revered as divine beings who contribute to the balance and harmony of the universe in Hindu cosmology. In Judaism, creatures of heaven primarily include angels, spiritual beings created by God to serve him and fulfill various roles such as messengers, guardians, and servants. Angels are described as beings of light with intellect and free will, inhabiting the heavenly realm and interacting with humans throughout history. They play essential roles in conveying God's messages, protecting individuals, executing divine judgment, and praising God continuously. Belief in angels is fundamental in Jewish faith, as they are seen as manifestations of divine power and presence, upholding God's sovereignty and participating in His divine plan. In Buddhism, creatures of heaven refer to beings inhabiting heavenly realms, deva realms, where they experience greater happiness due to positive karma. However, these realms are impermanent, subject to the cycle of rebirth. Buddhism emphasizes the impermanence of all conditioned existence and the ultimate goal of transcending all realms, including the heavenly, 
by achieving enlightenment and liberation from suffering. Hell In Christianity, hell is depicted as a realm of eternal punishment and separation from God for those who have rejected him or lived in defiance of his will. It is characterized by suffering and torment, contrasting with the eternal bliss of heaven. Hell serves as a warning of the consequences of sin and the importance of faith and repentance. Views on hell vary among Christian denominations, with some interpreting it literally as a place of punishment and others understanding it symbolically as a state of spiritual separation from God. In Islam, hell, known as Jahannam, is depicted as a place of punishment for those who have disobeyed Allah and committed grave sins. It is described as a realm of intense suffering and torment, with vivid descriptions in the Quran of its punishments, including fire, boiling water, and chains. Hell serves as a warning to humanity to avoid sinful behavior and strive for righteousness, contrasting with the eternal bliss of paradise. While some believe hell is eternal, others hold that certain individuals may eventually be forgiven and released after serving their sentence. Overall, hell plays a significant role in Islamic theology as a manifestation of divine justice and retribution. In Hinduism, Hell is depicted as lower realms of existence where beings undergo suffering as a result of their negative actions and accumulated karma. These realms, known as Naraka or Patala, serve as places of purification where individuals atone for their sins before being reborn into other realms. The suffering experienced in hell is temporary and varies based on the severity of one's sins. Hindu scriptures describe various hellish realms and the types of punishments beings undergo. Hell contrasts with heavenly realms and serves as part of the cycle of reincarnation, ultimately leading toward the goal of liberation, moksha, from the cycle of birth and death. In Judaism, the concept of hell is not as prominent as in other religions. Ancient Jewish beliefs include Sheol, a shadowy underworld where all souls, righteous and wicked, go after death. Gehenna, mentioned in later texts, is sometimes seen as a place of punishment or purification. Views on the afterlife vary among Jewish denominations, with an emphasis on the importance of righteous living and repentance in this life rather than speculations about punishment in the afterlife. Overall, Judaism's focus is more on ethical behavior and living according to God's commandments in the present rather than concerns about the nature of hell. In Buddhism, hell is not a singular concept but refers to various realms of suffering known as hell realms within the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, samsara. Beings in these realms experience intense suffering and torment as a result of negative actions and karma accumulated in past lives. Hell realms are considered temporary states of existence where beings undergo purification before being reborn into other realms based on their karma. The concept serves as a teaching tool to emphasize the importance of ethical conduct and the consequences of negative actions in the Buddhist path towards liberation from samsara. Creatures of Hell In Christianity, creatures of hell are often depicted as demons or fallen angels who rebelled against God and were cast out of heaven. They serve as tormentors in hell, inflicting punishment upon the damned. These malevolent beings play a significant role in Christian eschatology, representing the ultimate separation from God and contrasting with the righteous beings of heaven. Hell serves as a place of eternal punishment, where the souls of the damned suffer for their sins. In Islam, creatures of hell are primarily represented by angels known as Zabaniya. These angels serve as guardians and tormentors of hellfire, administering punishment to the sinners condemned to hell. They play a crucial role in Islamic eschatology, upholding the divine justice of Allah and ensuring that the inhabitants of hell endure the torment prescribed for their sins. In Hinduism, creatures of hell are depicted as beings who undergo suffering in lower realms known as Naraka, as a result of negative actions and accumulated karma. Naraka serves as a temporary state of purification before beings are reborn into other realms or attain liberation from the cycle of birth and death. Unlike other religions, hell in Hinduism is seen as a temporary state rather than a permanent destination, aimed at purifying the soul and balancing karmic debts. In Judaism, the concept of hell is not as prominent as in some other religions, and there isn't a single unified depiction of creatures of hell. 
Some texts mention beings associated with punishment or negative afterlife experiences, but views vary among Jewish denominations and interpretations. The emphasis tends to be more on righteous living and repentance in this life rather than speculations about the afterlife. Overall, hell in Judaism is not as extensively defined or emphasized as in other faiths. In Buddhism, creatures of hell are depicted as beings who undergo suffering in lower realms known as hell realms, or naraka, due to negative actions and accumulated karma from past lives. These realms are temporary states within the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, where beings atone for their actions and purify their karma through suffering. The concept of hell realms serves as a teaching tool to emphasize the importance of ethical conduct and encourages practitioners to cultivate wholesome actions to avoid rebirth in lower realms. Overall, hell in Buddhism underscores the impermanent nature of existence and the need for ethical behavior on the path to liberation from suffering.